Although many other theories are there about the home of our ancestors, whichever direction you look at, the birthplace of our species is Africa. But their dispersal across the planet is incredibly complicated. It is widely accepted that the dawn of humanity lies in Africa and modern man's ancestors originated on this continent. Now, modern humans emerged in Africa somewhere between 200,000 and 300,000 years ago. With that said, we know that even if they did emerge in Africa, they did not stay. They didn't leave the continent right away, but much later giving rise to a big question. If they stuck around Africa for so long, why did they pick up and leave? The theory that states that modern humans evolved in Africa and then moved out populating the rest of the world is known as the Out of Africa theory. Besides that, we also know from certain researches that Homo erectus, which is one of the ancestors of the modern humans, was the first species to leave Africa. So if they did, the question that arises is how did Homo sapiens evolve in Africa? To make it a little simpler, let me say that Homo erectus, an ancient upright ape, has found itself out of Africa and into China, Indonesia and Europe before Homo sapiens had even evolved. But the Homo erectus populations that remained in Africa likely gave rise to Homo sapiens which then migrated out of Africa. There are many explanations hypotheses and theories of when our ancestors left Africa. Some say they migrated out 120,000 years ago, while some say 130,000 years ago. But all that set aside, I like to believe that our ancestors didn't actually leave Africa in large numbers until about 60,000 or 70,000 years ago. With that cleared, let us get to the main question of why did our early ancestors leave Africa. Honestly speaking, the who, what, when, where, how questions surrounding the migration is often the most impenetrable to science, but we will try our best. The first explanation of why our early ancestors left Africa will be of course the most obvious climate change, not the human caused variety, but rather the change induced. We humans thrive in a climate that has plentiful rainfall that governs the growth of plants and plants govern the density and diversity of large herbivores that our ancestors would have relieved upon for food. Any significant changes to this system would lead to our ancestors packing up their homes. An alternative explanation would be, from time to time, Northern Africa and the Arabian Peninsula would get a bit less sun and a bit more rainfall, creating greener, wetter landscapes and parts of Northeast Africa become lush and flourish with rich ecosystems, forming a route between Africa and the Middle East that researchers refer to as green corridors. Passages assumed not only favorable but necessary for human migration. From certain studies, the evidence shows that the climate of Northeast Africa around 60,000 years ago, yes, the years that the big migration took place, according to genetic evidence, it was in the grip of an ice age. Climate was cold and arid, and so if it was this route that we took, it was obviously a bad choice. But then, we probably did so at the height of adversity, perhaps even to escape these conditions. Other than climate change, a reason for modern humans migrating out of Africa might be tracking migratory herd. Now we all know that our early ancestors were omnivores, so with the change in climate, animals might have also migrated to places with more favorable environment and in doing so, our ancestors followed them so that there would be no shortage of food. This explanation might be quite vague, but just like our relationship with the climate and the weather, we humans are intricately linked to our food sources, including herds of mammals who search for nutrient-rich plants and a varied diet leads them on grand migratory journeys across the continent. 
Another one is neighborly enrochment. There is a study that suggests it was communities of people from the south who made the trek. A more likely scenario is that there was a south to east migration that happened within the continent first before evacuation of Homo sapiens. During the climate change, when a wet corridor between the south and the eastern part of the continent opened up, it was the perfect opportunity for southern people to move east. An easier explanation would be that the people who made it to East Africa mingled with the existing population shortly after it is believed that the existing eastern population left the continent and populated the rest of the earth. In other words, when new people moved in, the previous neighbors decided it was time to move out. Besides these three reasons, the last reason for the human migration out of Africa is that we do not need a particular reason to migrate. This is the null hypothesis. We simply formed populations based on shared traits, maintained regional boundaries and migrated spontaneously for any number of reasons with a common fact that where there are dense populations of humans, there is a higher chance of spontaneous migration occurring. With all the listed reasons, it is still unclear if they were even the real reasons behind the migration. Research suggests that the majority of the earliest human groups eventually faded away after they arrived in Eurasia and that most people alive today can trace their ancestral lineage to the migration that occurred between 59,000 and 47,000 years ago. Perhaps we may never know what prompted exodus from Africa. Each endeavor likely involved a unique reason and some of these answers will forever rest with the individuals who left. And that is all that we have for you guys in this video. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. For related videos, check our channel out and do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.